back to the iMaxit YouTube platform. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. If you're a member of the channel, massive, massive respect to you lot. And how to become a member, please do click the join button if it's available to you. And then YouTube will help you along the way. So as you saw by the title, Ethan Pinnock back on the bench. We are going to discuss that as well. Mesa Greenwood continue to do very well. How impactful that is as it relates to towards him playing for Jamaica, all right? Yes, or going back to England. We're gonna discuss that as well. And as you know, our normal reggae boys abroad, we're in which we track all the players connected to Jamaica, um, playing in on the day or two days in a row, all right? So that's what we wanted to do. So let me know your thoughts, which game you, you have watched and how that player played. Even if it's not a Jamaican and you like what we do here and you want to drop it, please do drop that name all right so let me start with the top we have to start with the top because some of the matches them still continuing all right yes but let me start with the premier league because the premier league will have to be the one that we have to start with because yesterday we had said that we wanted a few um games we wanted to watch a few games and see how it turns out my first my first score went down the drain went down the drain because my first score um was a draw a draw Newcastle versus Tottenham. Um, it was a battering. It could have been 6, 9, 10, 20, 12, 50. All right. Any amount. Tottenham was terrible on the day. All right. Um, Scar um, scored in 87 minutes. Isaac scored 2, 51st and 38. All right. And then Garden had a goal, but he also had an assist in this game. It was definitely one sided. That result, that result really sets up um, Newcastle to get uh, um, into sixth position. At least it is for now because Manchester United should be playing soon. So with them playing, playing soon that will help the overall tally but at this point New, uh, Newcastle and 50 points and Tottenham dropped below Aston Villa without even Aston Villa playing because Aston Villa should be playing Arsenal in their next round but because of the amount of goals that they have conceded without scoring any at this point they have scored 65 and conceded 49 Aston Villa scored 66 conceded 49 so by one goal by one goal um that's what reached um the big Big bad at Tottenham, complete, completely embarrassed. And we have to ask if Newcastle never had suspensions and also uh, injuries, how good Newcastle could have truly be. Let me know in the comment section because I truly believe that um, Newcastle could have been way, way more up there if they never had the injury, the injuries and also Sandro Tonali being suspended because of gambling problems. That is his problem. All right. Um, to estimate bigger myself, um, 433 person said, JD, Isaac was on fire today. Yeah, man, I've talked about that kid when he just signed to the Premier League, you know, and um, I, I can pull out my clip, but I'd rather not to do so. All right. Yes. Um, good to see Pinnock. Even a five minutes, it's good to see him back. All right. Massive respect. Know yourself. Big of yourself. Thanks for being here. Massive respect. Uh, Marla Nelson. Big of yourself. Thanks for being here. Massive respect. Um, Football Global says Pep getting rid of Doku for Anthony Garden next season. No, I don't think so. Goku, Doku has his own um position for himself all right martin baker big of yourself my brother thanks for the continuous support and job up tv massive respect for all of the persons that i kept coming here back and supporting my platform really do respect that all right yeah man um s technic said i think newcastle is a top four team without injuries i i think we have to ask that question because now they are showing that definitely they can pull out results you know sometimes they have gone on the opposite um side but definitely they, they look like a good team without injuries um if not for injuries etc they would have made um it out of the champions league group as well okay well we are not gonna go that far uh happy to see pinup back doku did well today yeah man doku put a good shift in all right so brentford brentford game just finished as soon as we came um on as soon as we came on as soon as we came on as you saw ethan pinock back on the listing not just we, we we never really wanted to look at this all right because it doesn't matter what he did 
did today is just for him to make it back showcase that he was truly injured that's the first thing and we should stop the propaganda because people wanted to say that he was not injured and and they are faking it from the club that shows that he was truly injured because long after even when jamaica not playing he was still not playing and he's, he just returned so that is good and oh people keep this information because i think a lot of misinformation going around because a lot of people want to say that they have information and that is a sad thing with the jamaica space because it's like everyone desperate to put themselves in a bracket where they might not not need to be because if you want to be someone all they need to do is just do your job by watching a game and come here and add your spice to your thing and people will support it but sometimes i think people go as far because they are so desperate for position they want you to tell lies on the players them and cause more problems and sometimes that's why i think that that's why I calculate myself before I do anything. And and going forward, I have to calculate everything that I'm doing. All right? Everything that I'm doing. Because I am not going to be caught up in none of these things that arm in the team via me trying to get an extra subscriber or an extra dollar. All right? Yes. And that's why I've always reported um, exactly what I've heard on this player. Yes, Ethan Pinnock was injured and he's back now. They have collected a 2 one nil victory over Sheffield, which I expected them to win that one. I did go for them to win that one. Because remember, they, they had played Aston Villa and um, they played well against Aston Villa. They played well against Aston Villa. Should have took all three points, but they dropped it short for a point. So I expected them to carry over that form. And they did carry over their, that form. They scored two other goals what that was disallowed so it could have been a little bit more um against uh, sheffield all right with that three points from brentford it kind of pushed them in a good comfortable spot now 32 points after 33 games played in 14 spot yes you have crystal palace had two games has two games behind them and everton has two games behind them but everton they have something going on in their lives um that i don't know all right, so I think with time, I'm going to try and figure out what's going on with Everton, how much points they're going to truly lose, because sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 5, sometimes it's 2, so you don't truly know how much points Everton will truly have. All right, at the end of this day, which is ridiculous because you can't let a team play in games and then taking away points, give them back points, taking away points again. I think that's, that's not fear for Everton. I honestly believe that's not fear for Everton. Let me know if you guys agree with that. I think that is not fear. You should set it to say that at the end of the season, we are going to decide how it goes for you for the next season. But for this season, I'm not going to keep on taking away your points and then adding points and then taking away points again. You understand me? Because that's, that kind of set back the team. Worst if the incident was from before. You can't penalize people like that. Like you're desperate for them to get relegated. All right? But at this point, they are still above the relegation zone but it's not so far it's like two points but they have two games cushion so let's see how they could do with that two games cushion massive respect all right father bling big of yourself i'm going to watch um bournemouth um butter us uh, uh, three near okay yeah man i have it on the screen right here so it will be playing while i'm going all right yeah man um but uh, my time is limited so i have to try patch the time in with with no all right yes all right, because right, right after I'm done, I'm going to eat some food and then I have to spend time with my lady, you know, because um, as you know, the, we, we have a life, you know. Yeah, so I have to put on my thing, you know. I'm glad Pinock is back from injury but i'm worried about dishan bernard um i we are we're gonna get we're gonna get to that as well who is getting relegated in your opinion we, we jd's um what i don't i don't have a dog but whatever jd's i don't know all right we will talk about that in the next one because certain things will draw the shoot out and i've not given out the information um alan said jd there is a lot of persons doesn't read or listen Frank stated that Pinnock would would be out until international break. Yes, but I I presented that Marlon and I presented the facts as well, not from just Frank, but the facts that I've gotten in my hand directly, and people still wanted to sell it. 
you know, because you always have this overseas local fight against, and as much people, they, they can try and cause problems with to, to ch change people's mind. I don't even know, I don't even think, I don't need to understand why they think that this is still a thing. But it's, it's, it's criminal people, and what you need to realize is that a lot of these people, um, they, are, they were in the space, and they are, they are always for this divide. And they've always, they try to find other ways now to connect back that same divide. They just don't want to tell you. But if you had gone back in history, you would have known that they were these type of persons from day one. Pinnock is um, back. Damien Lowe right now. Pinnock Bernard. Um, Bernard is out of contract in June. So it's possible we won't see him um, for the rest of the season. Um, I, I think it's a muscle injury. They, they had said Marlon. And it looked like they like him. They look like they like him and they want to take him up. Or if he's going to take up that contract as well, because I, th I thought that he played well enough to kind of wait until the end of the season to decide his future. Because if they drop down by getting relegated, then he could just, by this pattern of play, he could get somewhere else to go. You get me? And I think that he has improved himself. Uh, Burnley, Brighton 1-1. One, one. We never got that one correct. And then Manchester City, Manchester City 5-1. All right, 5-1. Pep made two ch a few changes early on, and then they scored right after that. Poor, poor pass off in the back, and good interception from Luton. Um, Barkley, Ross Barkley, it, timed it well. Sit the defender, keeper down, and put it to the left post. All right, because he slanted here, so the left post. All right, yes, and good finish, 5-1. So Manchester City um, actually got some, some goals, um, some goals contribution, so they can up it closer. So when it comes to Arsenal time, they can make up that number. So they need four or five more goals in the next game, and then they are right beside Arsenal, right beside Arsenal, where they should be. All right? I thought that this game could have easily well be 10-0. It could have been 10-0 or 10-1, put it at that, because City had 36, 37 shots to four, 13 on target. Um, 10 blocks, so 23, and almost all of the blocks them were actually going on target. Almost all of them. So I would say 20 of those 23 shots combined um, with blocks um, were actually on target. Overall, they had five big chances. They missed four of the five big chances, and um, they scored five goals. So it could have been 10 nil. I think it could have, yeah, it could have been 10 nil. Yes, I, I would say it could have been 10 nil. Um, first off, they were a little bit too slow. Um, obviously, they have made a, a lot of changes, so that kind of ampered the way why they never scored more. All right? Yes. And maybe, maybe um, Luton could have gotten the next one because um, City got caught lacking and they, they, they they, he broke, broke behind Vardial and whipped it cross and um, he clipped it off the bar. So Luton could have gotten two goals, but that's, that's the max. Two goals max. All right, um, a 10 2, the game could have finished. 10 2. Um, then we have Big Bad Omar. In a, it says, Open, we can move away from the division between the local and overseas. I, I think that's not going to stop, especially in YouTube areas. Um, Omar Fowling, you, you have too much people desperate for money and those stuffs, and they know how to con people. So it will never stop. It will never stop. It will always be in that space. And you have more people coming up. So who, tell, who to tell which, which path they are going to choose? And that's why at this point I wanted to stay by myself, period. All right? I can't bother with the people when they're all over the place. I just want to stay by myself because I know the type of person I am. And I know what I stood for here. I can't, I can't, um, I can't vote for anybody else. And I will never vote for the next person on YouTube. Never, ever. After today, that's done. All right? Yes. And I'm moving back into my own space. Um, Brian Burke, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Massive, massive respect. S Technic said, JD, you remember Derby County went through the same thing uh, with the points. Yeah, but that was, they, they told us from early. But the triple, the triple changes, I don't like it. You understand me? That's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't like it. The goal difference will never catch up um, to Arsenal. All right, you know what? Let me, let, me, let me just give him, let me just give him the facts because this man uh, over here hype up himself. So City, City scored one more goal than Arsenal now, but conceded eight more goals. So what they need to do is score five more goals in the next game, and then City might, City play in a harder opposition. So if they win one nil, they will 
take the one nil and glad with it if they win two one they will glad be glad with that so three more goals jump it and then jump it and jump it so city can catch them in goal difference come on s technique man all right it's it's not like arsenal is going to stop scoring no they are not going to stop scoring but um luton ain't better than aston villa come on let me, let me speak reality the man luton ain't better than aston villa all right yes um jd dante Dan, Dant, yeah, Gilbert is in the final of the Premier International Cup. Send the information to me, Prince with massive respect. Thanks for the continuous support. Man of Valor said, did Pinock play today? He got some minutes. All right? It, he got some mini minutes. So that was the next one. Forest Wolves, 2-2. Two -two. Cunha, Cunha again. I think Cunha will have to add to our list, you know, guys, of top, top, top wide, wide strikers, you know. All right? Our wide forwards, you know. All right? Yes. He has two more goals added to his list today. Yes, so that means when we are going back for what you guys sent me to do my research on. Yes. All right. Yes. So let me go into the championship now. It was one game I was keen on and they kind of disappointed me. I thought that they were the better team on the day and should have won this easily. But let me go through all of the championship results. All right. But guys, we have 119 people here. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Support the content. Very, very much important. If you do hit the like button because what that does it helps the people to come here all right very very much important it helps the people to come here all right so hit that like button take your time hit that like button share and subscribe let me try and get the content um, um to other persons via um the shares but definitely get the likes up we are on 27 likes at this point a little bit low and uh, we would want more on uh, on that all right so if you could do us a solid click the top of your screen you're going to see a triple dot once you click the triple dot everything will be exposed to you the likes will be exposed to you everything will be exposed to you so thanks for when you hit that and if you're re-watching the video please give me your take as it relates to um any one of the topics then that we have discussed the players whatever the situation is we are going to get into the championship now because we have a lot of players some of our players they never feared off well in the championship we have to we have to say it as it is all right yes that is a fact um at this point all right some of our players never feared off well all right one second guys let me One second, guys. Let me email it's chance. Let me share this over. So at least um, the the pe people um, that wants to watch it um, gets it. All right. Yeah. One second. One second. I think that should be good now. I can share the rest of them from my location. All right. So massive respect for the persons that have hit the like button already. Yeah, man. Really and truly appreciate it. All right. So anyways, let me give some other person some big up before we get into it. Um, Michael Thomas or Thomas. Big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thanks for the information that you sent me. Massive respect for that, um, Prince. All right. Yeah, man. Tom Michael Thomas. Big up yourself. Um, Doku with the giddy. All right. Um, Marlon. Frank and Moist, uh, Tom, Chevis, I'm not going, Chevis, just big up yourself, Chevis, but I'm not going to fight something that I know that was facts, all right? I'm not going to fight that, all right? I'm not going to, big boss, I'm not going to, big bad Chevis, you know me, Rita, but I'm not going to do so when I have the facts in my hands, all right? Yes, um, big up yourself, Chevis, big up yourself, Lee Young, massive, massive respect, um, MP, big up yourself, no, no, Marlon, we're not going to argue with Chevis because if I have the facts in my hand before even Frank talk about it, I can't argue with Chevis, all right? Yes, big up myself, Jason Guna. Um, Kirk, big up myself as well. Let me move, th me move through um, and some other good results because I'm telling you, you know, the championship, you know, guys, you, you guys should not miss the championship because uh, the championship going down to the wire, the Premier League going down to the wire, League One going down to the wire as well. It's a madness in football. Uh, right now, even in basketball, it's going on to the wire, obviously. In basketball, it was a little bit different because it's the 8th and the 10th seed um, on both sides fighting. But the competitive, the competitiveness this year is just off the train. All right? The JPL2, um, Pagan, that's, 
The JPL too. I have not watched the JPL, so I'm not keeping track of it. All right? <laughs> All right, so um, Leeds, Blackburn. Leeds lost 1-0. 1-0 to Blackburn, 1-0 to Blackburn. I, I, I tuned into this game a little bit late and Leeds were killing themselves to try to get back into the game. They were the better team, you know, they dominated the game, everything, you know, dominated the game, but just couldn't damn score, dominated the game. I think every one of these teams have a lot of big chances, terrible misses. I don't know if it's the, what you would call it, the anxiety. The anxiety setting setting in for these teams, none of them seem to want to take the lead. You understand me? So Leeds, let me get the, the, the actual facts here. Leeds at 75% possession, at 19 shots to 3. Alright, 5 shots to 2 on target and had 7 blocks. Overall, when it comes on to big chances created, they had three big chances created, miss all three of them. All right, and I thought that two of the other chances were actual close to big chances, so they missed like five big chances in the game. So, half, half big chances, yes, but yeah, I don't know. So, this is an embarrassing loss for Leeds right here, yes. Then we go over to our boys, Birmingham smoked, smoked. Um, Coventry, it's Birmingham smoked Coventry, um, they, their co counter-attacks were clinical, clinical, their counter-attacks were clinical, the only good thing I could say today, that uh, um, Coventry finding a form like how oh, they could play, so next year they can start off on that form to try and dominate, but aside from that, I don't think um, they are going to make it. As I said last time, I don't believe that they would have made it um, to the playoffs. And I think that this is the day that it's done and dusted. There is no other way for them to make the playoff. They have gotten a smoke 3-0. Birmingham City gave them. Um, we had KC Palmer started. Latibody here started. Let me pull up both of them stats. All right. KC Palmer played 72 minutes. Um, over that 72 minutes, he had 35 touches and completed 26 of 30 passes, which is 87%. Two key passes, one cross, tried, not good enough. Two long balls, tried, not good enough. Shots on target, one, and one dribble try, not good enough. Ground duels, one out of four. Here, Lwali lost that one. Last position, seven times, committed one foul and had one foul against. All right, and on the defensive side, he has no statistic, but he was still trying to block lanes, and he was he was trying, you know, he was trying, and they, I think that next year they need to work on when they have gotten all of the ball, oh, they work the ball fast enough, like oh, Manchester City can change that gear, um, Arsenal can change that gear, they need to have that at this level. Or else they are going to be in problem again next year. All right? Because they might lose a few of these pieces next year. Because Lottie Buddy and those guys are getting um, getting talks to go elsewhere. All right? Um, JD, um, I'm making a comment, bro, on the show. Oh, is no, I'm telling you, but I know the facts. So I'm not going to ask you. I, I'm not telling you. I know that Thomas Frank was not lying because I reported that before it even happened. So that's all I'm saying is when I when you hear me report certain things, I don't, I don't, I am not with the base. I don't come here and make up story for nobody at no time. And so if I'm going to say something, I know that it's 100% facts. 100% facts. And Ethan Pinock injury was 100% facts. Because I told you guys um, two a week before, uh, two weeks before, two weeks before it, it came out. So it, it has to be something that I knew why I told you that um, Big Boss. So I, that is one conversation that I'm not going to argue at all. All right. Isaac is a top striker. Yes, yes. Isaac is a top striker. 100%. Uh, yeah, man, I think this is done now for Coventry. It is done for Coventry. They can't make it out anymore. Next season, they have to start planning, planning on and to get a good position, to keep their position. All right, so Coventry, uh, with that one, it drops Coventry, let me give you, to eighth. After 42 games played. So the, the game, the two games in hand that they had, um, they lost both of them and kept themselves right at 63. Alright. Um Norwich 
um, at, at 71, and that's what they need to keep to make up. So that is almost impossible at this point. All right. Um, Ernestville, um, drew with Bristol City 1 1. QPR, um, lost 3 0 to all. Good win for all right there. And then now we have to move on to Big Bad, um, Ipswich and Middlesbrough. Hutchinson, Omari Hutchinson and Co. Uh, expected them to win this one. They were the better team, even first half when they conceded. Um, they were still the better team, um, for me. They were the better team, right? Right throughout the game, both halves. Um, they had 55% possession to 45, 21 shots to 11, 5 apiece on target and 8 blocks. And the big chance created side, they had 3 for 3 as well and both of them have misses. Um, but if it did hit the woodwork, yes. But I think that if Ipswich does the same thing as what I would expect from um, Coventry, I think they would have won that game easier. Move it faster and this dude, this dude, I, I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like this player. I, I, I truly don't like this player. I think if they go back with him next next year, it will just be not good. The broadhead is just not my type of player. I don't know if it's because my head might be big and he's head, he, he, the broadhead um, take. And his head is broad as well. You, know? you get me? I, I, just, I just don't like the way he plays. I think he's always running into Hutchinson's ways and trying to stop Hutchinson from playing football or something. I don't know if I've seen that. I, I remember when it was the FA Cup, when they got knocked out of the FA Cup. The man did everything for Hutchinson not to, not to get, get um, assists or play good in the game. Yes, so broad it is a problem for me. You get me? Yes. Good lord, man. Yes, so anyways, um, they got a draw in this one. Let me pull up Hutchinson's stats. He played himself in the game. That's what I would say. He played the game himself in the game. He never started well. He never started well, but he played himself in the game. 90 minutes played, had 60 touches. All right, I should have gotten each halves to show you each halves. All right, the first half, he was kind of um, not getting beaten and um his passes weren't coming off and stuff you know he was trying to dribble um th those weren't successful as well you know so they did their homework on him but uh, in, in the game he grew in the game he grew he grew grew in the game all right yes yeah, so 60 touches and his accuracy 31 of 38 majority of the better passes in the second all right 82 percent had two key passes in the game tried two crosses never completed any one of them one of one long passes had, had one shots on top shot on target two shots off target and three shots blocked so he had six shots in total which is very good very very good and his dribbles as i've said in first half he, it was tougher um he had five dribbles overall completed two all right once the space start open up it looks completely better for omari hutchinson all right and once he darts centrally he looks more comfortable centrally so omari hutchinson next year we're going i think he has to he has to alter the position that he does play you know I, he need to alter the second half that he does play, his position that he does play. I think I would like to see him down the center of the park. I think if he plays next year in the championship, the center of the park, Omar Hutchins have 10 assists and 20 goals in the championship next year. 10 assists and 20 goals. If he plays Cam next year and he gets the stamina that he said he wants, um, he's going to have 10 assists and 20 goals next year. Yeah. So, ground was 3 out of 10, and um, Eriel Dwali lost the one last position 15 times. And on the defensive side, he did try. He had two interceptions, one tackles, uh, tackle, but he had two dribble pass. So, second half, very, very good second half for me. All right, but the first half, he struggled. All right, yes. Yes, broaded, 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 yeah. Uh, Marlon said, it's Hutchinson's second half. He was really good. Yes, yes, that's what I've said. He grew into the game. You know, but you can't take away his first half, Marlon. You, you can't tell the people him lie. So you have to tell him that the first half was not good enough. But he made it up in the second half. And then so he has one of the highest rating on the field, which is 7.1. All right. Um, Stet said, you're right. I, JD, I thought I was the only one saw he wasn't um, giving Omari the ball. Yeah, man, Broadhead is a problem, man. And I think the coach is... I, I think him doing so good this year there is not by them. I think it's just by his natural talent. Because sometimes I think they did everything for him not to do good. I just don't know how. Um, Liam Bailey is going to slap up Arsenal tomorrow. Um, I would love that thing. I would love that thing. It's the first time being a line. Uh, but I am just wishing that's the case. 
I am not believing that will be the case. <laughs> Because I would be mad. Um, finally catch a life. Coach Dino, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. This is why he is called Broadhead. He missed a lot of chances as well. So it's, if he was taking the balls and doing something with it, I would have felt good. But I don't rate him. I don't rate him. I, I don't know him. Maybe I'm bad minding him. You know? Yeah, but I don't rate him. Yeah. All right. So with that draw, with that draw, with that draw, you know, um, I still think that it puts... It's switching a good position, you know. But it should have put it switch in a position to win the tournament. Win the entire championship. Because they should have gotten the entire three points today. And put Leicester on the back foot. Because Leicester had a game in hand. So if they had won the game now, it would have been better for them. Because now Leicester would have been under pressure to come and make all three points. If Leicester wins their game in hand, they are going to go back above them. But what they have done now, they have gotten a little room away from Leeds. Leeds is on 87. They are on 89. So if they can get one more win at least... That will help them because both, both them and Leeds play um, 43 games apiece. So if they could just win a next game, put pressure on Leeds. And if Leeds drop any more points after them winning a the next game, they have, they have been crowned qualifiers and they are in the Premier League. 100%. So that's how tight it is. All right? Who is Broaded? Broaded is uh, um, a guy that played from Ipswich. Um, he, he's, he, he's okay, but... I just believe, I remember I'm watching a lot, a lot of the games, you know, a lot of people said I am just an uh, over-the-top fan of Hutchinson, but I'm watching the player. That's how I know football. If I can't watch the teams, I can't know football. You understand me? Yes. All right. So, people, as you come in, please do hit the like button, share, and subscribe. All right. So, anyways, let me just go through this because people are asking about Mr. Greenwood. And I should have started with it because it's not a big, big news. So, I should have started with it. JD, I'm not worried about Leicester. It's which need to separate themselves from league. That's what I said. But they need to get pick up the next three points. So, let me give you their matches. Let me give you their matches um, that they do have right after. So you guys could know. Um, I think it it's got, actually serves well for them, you know. Their next match is Old City. Old City won three. Uh, Old City won, won three nil. The, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yes, because uh, Coventry is su suspended, postponed. So their next match is Old City. All right. So Old City, Coventry, uh, Coventry. Uh, Coventry which Coventry can't qualify anymore. Um, so that it kind of helped them in that game. So maybe they are going to work on pieces. And they have other feel. I think they can pick up th more, more than six points. If they pick up six more points, they are going to qualify. They are qualifying with six more points. So if Ochinson wants to stay there, he could stay there. Let me go through the rest of the results then. Millwall, 3-1, victory over Cardiff. Preston, a loss to Norwich City, which is, that was crucial. Because um, Coventry wanted Norwich to not pick up any more points. But they have picked up that three points. All right. Which is very, very much important. So that kind of clinch, that, that kind of put out, uh, that kind of put away um, Coventry. But I, I don't think they have clinched it as yet. They might have them pick up three more points and then that's it. Then you have a vital three points. A vital three points, people. A vital three points. Uh, no, a vital point. Stoke versus Sheffield. All right? Good, good run. Good, good run. Um, good, good run for uh, Sh Sheffield. I think Sheffield is going to st stay up. They are going to stay up. I just believe that they are going to stay up. So no more, no Deshaun Bernard again. All right? He has missed a lot of the, 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 the game since coming back with the same muscle injury. That's what they have reported. All right? So 1-1, one, one, that result is still good for um, Sheffield. All right? So Sheffield... Um, on 44, it keeps them right there. So, it just keeps them with the pack. Three points would have been very good, you know. But the 44 still keep them right there. Because Sheffield, Erdisfield on 44, Birmingham City on 45. With that three points. Alright? Yes. So, they just need to pick up three points. I still believe that Plymouth, Plymouth ain't safe. Plymouth ain't safe. So, from Plymouth, from Plymouth, which is 18 on 48, ain't safe. Straight down, all right, to 23. So more shuffling um, will happen. They just need to pick up three points, and then that's it for them, all right? Yes. All 
All right, so Southampton 3 2 over Watford. Southampton really kicking in a good form late. All right, so push themselves on 81. And they have two games in hand. So if they can win both games, they put themselves in a tricky position. All right, because that would have put them on leads right there. And if any little mix up happen with the Ipswich, um, Southampton can literally come and stole the show as well. And obviously, they have top shelf players. So anything can actually happen. All right, Rasta Gill, big up yourself. Thanks for being a massive respect. Tri triple, um, Chevy said, JD, so like Kelly, fall off. He's on the bench for Bournemouth as we speak. Well, uh, that's, how, that's how it goes, you know. Then we have um, another three points picked up for Swansea over Rotterdam. Very good. So they are separating themselves from the pack. So they are fully, fully safe now. They are in 14th position. They are fully, fully safe. And um, West Brom lost to Southampton. That is a big, big blow for West Brom. All right. Because uh, even though it's okay, it's okay. It's okay because I don't think Old City can catch West Brom. I don't think so. They have Ipswich playing. Um, they ain't beating Ipswich. Ipswich will beat them. And that will kind of kill off the, the entire conversation. So West Brom will be in the playoffs um, at this point. Then we have uh, a few more games that we have to go through in League One. And then we will talk about the Mesa Greenwood and finish the, the show like that. All right. So we had Bur Barnsley versus Reading. All right. We had two guys on Barnsley that that is actually Jamaican. Um, so Russell and Devante Cole. All right. Both of them. I was looking on stats. I never watched the game. Just on stats. All right. So Russell keep getting minutes um, in, in the later part of the of, of the, the the league. Um, and Devante Cole was actually on the bench for a few games and he's back. All right. Never got on the score sheet. For, for a while, he hasn't really scored, you know, so that is definitely not helpful for them. But um, with that draw, it keeps them in um, fifth spot. Fifth spot, all right? Petersburg is above them on 77 uh, with a game in hand, all right? Yes, Petersburg got battered today by um, Greg Lee. Yes, we are going to talk about that. Um, Bolton draw with Portsmouth. Uh, so Bolton stayed at 82. So that's a next opportunity for Petersburg to get three points and then see if they can push a late rally. All right. Which I think Derby and Portsmouth already gone away with the two spots. But you never may know. You never may know. All right. Because um, Derby plays um, um, two extra matches than Petersburg. So if Petersburg gets. Two wins, that's going to put them on 83 points. So, I don't think they have clinched the second automatical spot as yet. All right. Um, Cam Cambridge versus Charlton. We had two of our boys then playing again. Um, that is very good. We have Hector, Michael Hector, and um, Karai Anderson playing yet again. Both of them had a solid, decent game. Yes, I'm going to bring up the stats to give it to you. 90 minutes played yet again for Michael Hector. Um, he had seven clearances, one interception in the game, one of one ground duel, and two of four aerial duel. Last 16 possessions. Um, and was fouled once. At the 49 touches of the ball, completed 23 of 39 passes, which is 59%, a little bit low for his style of play. Long balls, he attempted 16. So now you know where most of the most of the um, lo losing ball went. went. Um, completed 5 out of 16 and had one shot off target. So that is up, what's up for big bad Hector. All right. <clears throat> 50 points will keep um, teams safe. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But this year, the championship down, down there is kind of good as well, yeah, people. All right? Rasta Gale, big up yourself, man. Massive respect for the continuous support. Guys, we have 130 in the house. As we said, all the light goes, click the top of the screen. You're going to see a, a, a triple dot. Click that, click that, and you're going to see if you want to share the content, if I'm doing such a good job, or you want to like the video, or you want to subscribe. That's how the option goes right here. So definitely get the likes up to even 70 so it look more respectful. And then it keeps on growing as it goes. All right. Go on, big up yourself. So it's the, the one club uh, has two teams in the EPL and championship. Okay. Um, Sheffield is going down. They have um, three tough games. No, 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 no. Marlon, don't give up on them. Don't give up on them. I'm telling you. All right. Jay Shaw in the building. How you doing, man? I wonder when Hutchins is coming to play for Jamaica. I don't care about that, Jay Shai. I'm, I'm caring about the player playing so he can get a contract. All right? Yes. 
um Ipswich just will have to win one more I think and Leeds lose two away games all right <laughs> well you can't uh, you can't rely on someone to lose two away games uh no big teams uh, I don't think they're gonna just lose them like that all right from India Mohan um Bagan is my fav club found in 1889 15th of March it is ISL Shield match. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, um, Paul, for that information. Anderson played right wing back. You missed um the review of Mother Sale and Kadama Thierry. I have not missed anything. I have not missed it. I have not missed it at all. Kadama Thierry never get much time, and I've not reached um Petersburg as yet. So I've not done anything as yet. Don't 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 force my work, Mr. Guru. Take your time. Alright, yes. Um um, Blackpool uh, one as well. Then we have Black B Bristol Rovers three one Derby. Um, as we said, they are they are trying to keep themselves up there three nil. Um, Fleetwood two nil over Northampton and Wigan two one win. And then now five nil big bashing. Um, Oxford one wit as what they would have said in Jamaica. You had Greg Lee Greg Lee super um, performance on the day all right 90 minutes played for big bad greg lee um he had an assist one clearance three interceptions two tackles and in his ground was he had two of three and lost the one aerial battle that he had last position only nine times committed one foul in the game and had 39 touches his accuracy was 70 percent 14 of 20 um passes one key pass um on the day tried one cross it was not good enough and his long balls were two of five um shots off target one for him and hit the woodwork once all right yes so he had an assist and hit the woodwork um on his side five goals they have scored and it's not like um um petersburg was bad i thought that they were solid but i i just i just don't believe that they couldn't get the openings that they were looking for all right yes that's what I would say. And I would say that um, Oxford were clinical. That's what I would put it down to. Let me go down to the other players them. All right. As you know, you have a few Jama potential Jamaicans on this. All right. John Johnson Clark Harris on it. And you have Madasil. Madasil came in the 50. Um, hold on. Madasil played 31 minutes. 31 minutes. Uh, Madasil played three touches. Um, two of two hundred percent um, passing accuracy created uh, one key pass one key pass so in transition and the ground was he attempted only one and he was not successful there in last position once all right dribble pass once in the game so 31 minutes never did much still create was a part of the creation so it was just a bad day at the office um, for them at this point all right a very very bad day all right, but he gets some more minutes. Um, John C. Clark Harris got some minutes um, himself as well. I thought that once he scored what three, they started to two with two three. They started to make changes. Three, they started to make changes. Yeah, uh, Port Vale Exeter um, four nil on the day, and Wickhambe, um scored two over Shrewsbury, and Stevenage um, lost to Burton two one. All right, so. Good set of games, good set of games, people. All right, so let me move up to the big dogs talking now. All right, yeah, man. Um, get the likes of share and subscribe. Massive respect for everyone that came in. Um, Pinnock will make the defense stronger. Yeah, that is that is definitely true. All right, yes. So, anyways, now we had um, we always talk about Mr. Greenwood, and we are saying that him. Him playing for Jamaica is strongly down to him not going back to Manchester United. I've always said that. I've always said that because I think that once they have ac accepted him back in England, it would have been almost impossible for them to say that he can't be selected again. Because if he can play in the country, how would you tell a man that he can't be he can't play for the country? You understand me? So I always thought that that, that kind of inched on him um, playing outside England for him to play for Jamaica, at least for the next year or so. So the reports coming through um, is that after Mesa Greenwood keep on performing, which I'm going to bring up um, is that here. Let me start from what he did. Um, so that is the best thing. Let me start from there first. So at least you could know. All right. 
because they know that every time he does something they are going to start using that um to really push him up up there up there up there you know yes so um Yes, yeah, so Mr. Greenwood, uh, one second, one second. Why, why am I not getting one second, one second? Let me get this. All right, so they are, they should be full time. They had a nil nil draw here, nil nil draw, uh, nil nil draw. So they picked up a point right here, put a point right here. Let me put up his stats so I can give you the stats right here. One second. All right, so this is his stats right here. 90 minutes played, so that means his energy is re way up there now, which is very good. I love that, all right? I love that, that he's getting more, more playing more minutes and staying, and staying out there and contributing. 37 touches, 15 of 19 on the passing side, 79% um, passing accuracy. Tried one cross, it was not good enough. One long ball was not good enough. One shot off target and one shot blocked. Two of four dribbles completed and four of nine ground duels. Last possession 12 times. Committed one foul but was fouled twice. And that was his day um, for him right there. But he had, he's on good, good form. And what I'm seeing here, what I'm seeing here, it's, it's pretty much saying that Greenwood returning to Manchester United, this is from ESPN 24 hours ago, is unlikely but is not impossible. And certain other news saying that um it looks like manchester united will be taking him back so all i'm saying is um for most jamaicans it still comes down to if the player wants to choose jamaica just the same you know but i honestly believe that because he already played for england um if they do call him back to england i think he would have turned up to england before coming to if they both of them turn up on the day and call him for england and jamaica and he knows that it's authentic, go uh, authentic call, and not just uh, just cap him to throw him away. I think he would have turned up back to England because it would have easy for him to um, fit in. You know, yes, that's what I think. Still, that's what I think. I could be wrong, but that's just my take. And based on what I'm hearing, I think we have to wait a little bit longer to see what's up with his con his contract because Barcelona wanted to pay the money for him. They've already come to terms um, so far. So they wanted to pay money for him. So it's not like they don't have suitors outside the country. They do have suitors outside the country. But it looks like Ratcliffe taking over. He's, he, he's trying to say that he has balls, you know. And he has, he, he's trying to make some big boy calls. You know, that's what he's trying to do. And I think maybe that messed up how it looks for Jamaica at this point. That is just me just looking at certain things i'm going to continue to read and then once i get a more clearer picture i will fill it in but it it, it looks like it's turning at uh it, it it's it taking a turn because at this point they're saying the asking price that manchester united want for the player is unreal realistic so this is from metro um manchester united asking price for miss greenwood brand branded unrealistic all right, so let me see how much they are, they've asked for him because I had this story from before, you know. All right, so let me see if they change the asking price. Okay, all right, um, okay, but the the asking price is thirty million. Um, asking price is thirty million. Okay, they want. All right, so reports claim that Barcelona Atletico have expressed an interest, while Juventus is another um, option for the forward. Lazio um could also reignite their interest so lazio juventus barcelona and atletico but they want 30 million straight up cash i know all deals go in these these things so maybe some sometimes you see bigger deals and it's not that way you know so with him let me see when his contract expires all right so if they want 30 million for him um, at this point with him just playing a few games um let me see his contract um, transfer market where is contract let me see his contract how long is contract all right so his contract um ends in 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 spain the first of september let me see when his contract ends with manchester united all right wow uh when his contract ends all right next season okay so he has one more year on his contract and he's over 21 now 
is over 21 so that means after six months he can talk to anyone um so he has six more months that Man manchester united can wiggle around if they don't they, they, if they mess up six more months and um he can walk away pretty much free all right because he's going to be in that six months that six months bracket all right so you have to be careful what they're doing and just make a take the 30 million take the 30 million and stop playing with the youth's career you know or take 25 million 20 25 million all right and no add on no add on stop doing all of these foolishness just sell the player and just sell the player and just call it a day that's all they need to do you know but it looks like they're still pondering because Radcliffe said at the end of season they are going to make the decision so they have not made the decision as yet and um, based on what we are seeing on the internet, they are saying it looks like he could come back or he could he could go as well. But it looks like they are saying that he, it's possible for him to come back in England, which is amazing. You know, United should keep Greenwood. But Guru, you understand that they have problems there. They have problems there. So because they do have problems, I can understand if they don't want to keep him. You understand me? That is very much clear. All right. Yes. They can extend for no. Once it Nitro, once you reach six months, he has all the power. Once it reaches six months, the player, once you pass 21, they have all the power to decide what they want. If they say they're not going to sign nothing to you, that's why they don't let players run down their contract to, 20, uh, to, to six months. Because you can decide whatever you want. And that's why some of those players always take bigger wages and go to other pl clubs. But now no, they, can, they can force him into certain deals. I read yesterday that the loan deal might be extended. All right. Greenwood will never play for England again. Um, if he goes back to Manchester United, yes, he will. He will. All right. He will. All right. He will. All right. So, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to run this stream to one, one hour. One hour should be okay. Yeah, man. One hour should be okay. One hour should be good enough. Um, Bournemouth, one nil. Oh, my God. Man, you losing. Oh, my God. Let me open this one up so I can get it on the screen right here. All right, so guys, we have around 20, let me do 20 more, 20 more minutes is solid, 20 more minutes is solid, because I, the two hours, you guys want me to do two hours, two hours, kind of a lot, you know, all right, so guys, please do get the likes up, all right, if, if you hit 100, then I can stay an extra 30 minutes, I have to hold you guys at ransom, all right, um, one, one sec, one second, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. It's my little kid. I'm called because she's over grandma. She's over she's over grandma. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, no, but it's okay. <laughs> um banana in goal can't stop. Um, Solanke. Solanke is an next solid player, you know. Maybe Arsenal um, dropped the ball and not signing him because he looks like he's just a pure goal scorer. I remember back in the days, he, he was at Liverpool, right? Liverpool? He was at Solanke. Yeah, man, Liverpool. I think it, he was at Solanke. Um, he was at Liverpool, man, and he never, he never matriculated fast enough. Something like that, yeah? Yeah, one second. Yeah, man, he was at Liverpool. He was at Liverpool and never matriculated fast enough. Um, Vitesse, he went to Vitesse from Chelsea. Uh, yeah, he was at Liverpool. And yeah, he's a, he's a good player. Um, we got Averts. No, man, he, he, he's better than Averts, man. He's better than Averts. A natural goal scorer. Natural goal scorer. Natural goal scorer. Um, and he could push back lines even better. So any one of these players, him or Ivan Tony, um, um, Arsenal gets, I think they, they are going to be very good. They are going to be very good. And um, it will it, they will go places, man, you know. But maybe not this year, season. But yes, he will go, they will go places. All right? Yeah. So, guys, um, if we get any more information, we will run out. Um, I will give you guys time to hit the like and share um, on the video. All right? So, take your time. And I will see you later. Thanks to all the persons that continuously watch the stream, support the stream. Massive, massive respect. All right? So, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And take care. Cuss. One JM, big of yourself as well. Thanks everyone that came in. Tomorrow, maybe we'll get something going again. Because tomorrow, other games, we can put everything together. Wartime, Liverpool, Arsenal, crying time tomorrow.
tomorrow, crying time, somebody will be bawling out their eyeballs. Don't know who it is, but somebody. So I will just leave it right there, and then we will see it tomorrow. Take care, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.